The MLS playoff schedule has just been announced, so we're going to bring you all of the coverage here. We're going to get you what times the games are. We're going to get you our predictions for who's going to be in the final rounds of this competition so that you can kind of plan out a little bit how your teams are going to look as we move throughout the MLS Cup playoffs. Here we go. Welcome into another video on the channel. This, this is Chris, the MLS Card Guy, and today we have MLS Playoff Preview Video Part 2 for you guys. First part gave you our predictions a couple of weeks ago as to who was going to make it. We got oh, pretty close, not quite on the money there. Um, but today we have the full bracket um, that has been released. We know the times, we know when everybody is going to play, and that has actually changed one of the picks in our bracket as well. So we'll go through all of that here in a few minutes. Uh, just as a forewarning, I apologize for my voice is starting to go a little bit, so I'm going to try to make it through this video as best I can, but just bear with me if my voice cracks at all, guys. So here we go. We've got the playoff bracket pulled up here. Um, so again, everything color-coded, the exact same colors as before. Uh, this time it is for real, though. We do know exactly which games will be played in which game week. So the first game week will be 220, which will be between 1119 and 1122. And we will have these eight teams playing. Atlanta, New York City, Philly, New York Red Bulls, Portland, Minnesota, Sporting Kansas City, and Vancouver. A lot of good players from these teams. Obviously, they're playoff teams, so they're going to have a lot of good players. Uh, but my teams especially should have a, a good amount, I, I believe, from these uh, from these eight teams. Um, so we'll, we'll play. Um, we're going to get predictions here in a second. I'm just going to go through the schedule really quickly. So then the second set of games... We have the Seattle RSL game, we have the Nashville Orlando game, and then we have Colorado against the winner of Portland, Minnesota. Um, so those will be the six teams playing on that game week. Again, Nashville has a lot of talent, Seattle has a lot of talent, Colorado has a lot of talent, so uh, should be enough players to make, make teams for you guys, depending on who's on your roster currently. Um, and then we have that one weird game week, that's New England. Um, and the winner of Atlanta and NYCFC. So me personally, I am probably not going to have a team in that game week 223. Um, I don't. I think I might might have a New England player. Um, I believe I. I don't think I have anyone from Atlanta. Uh, I think I have one NYCFC player. So I don't think I have enough for a team there. Um, if you have Bo or Heal, maybe not good news for you because they may not be able to play. Um, you may not, might not have enough players to field the team. Uh, so a little bit bad there for New England, who has a lot of really, really good players on them. And then uh, the, the winners of these four games down here will all play um, in game week 222, which is from the 26th to the 29th. Um, and then we'll get um, the semifinals will be December 3rd through the, sec through the 6th. Excuse me. Um, those will be uh, the Eastern and Western Conference final games. And then MLS Cup will be um, from 12... I think it's 12 12 is the, is the actual tape. Um, so we know exactly who's going to be in the tournament. This is the way that the bracket looks. Um, one thing interestingly here to note we're going to start off with New England. New England gets the long, long bye. So not only did they not play on 11 25 um, up in this game week up here, they don't even play in the next two games of the quarterfinals. They played the last uh, quarterfinal game, which is on 11 30, I believe. Um, so they're actually in game week 223. So it's a long, long, long layoff for New England, um, which is not something that they will be looking forward to. And they're going to have to play the winner of a tough game between Atlanta and New York City FC. Whoever does come through that game is going to be uh, hyped up and ready to go. So that is a definitely an upset spot there for New England. Um, I'm actually going to take Atlanta to win. Um, I think Atlanta can go on the road. They're playing a lot, a lot better under their new coach now. Uh, they seem to have gelled a lot, um, and up until like the last week or so, um, they were really, really hot. They they went on the road to Red Bulls and could only get a tie, and then went on the road to Cincinnati and got a win uh, in the last week. But neither one of those results was really super impressive. Um, so going in, not quite as hot as we thought Atlanta might be. But the long layoff, I think, is enough to just put Atlanta over that edge. I, I think this will be a really, really good game. And obviously, New England could definitely get out of this game um, with a win. But in this case, I am going to go with Atlanta here. Down here, Philadelphia, New York. So again, like the analysis from before, 
nothing against Philadelphia. They're a good team. I just don't think they're a great team. They they did end up as the two seed in the East, so they will get a home game here in this game should they beat Red Bulls. Um, but the Red Bulls are one of the hottest teams in the MLS. They won something, something ridiculous over the last 12 games. I think they won like nine games out of their last 12, um, which was just exactly what they needed. They had one point more than DC United. So DC United fails to make the playoffs, which is unfortunate for me um, as a fan. But um, good luck to the Red Bulls uh, going up against Philadelphia, going on the road. That'll definitely be a tough game, but I'm going to pick New York to get through that. And then you guys know I love Nashville. Um, Orlando is not a playoff team. I cannot see them going to Nashville and getting a win. Uh, at the very, very, very best, they go to Nashville and Pedro Galese wins a shootout for them. Um, I, I can't see them winning in regulation or in OT. I, I think their only hope is to try to get to penalties and try to win on penalties. Um, so we have Nashville going through here. If this ends up being the mashup, Nashville would be the home team here. If Philadelphia gets through, Nashville would have to go to Philly. Um, either way, I still think Nashville gets through here. We've already gone over this game. Nashville against Atlanta would be a great game. Uh, supposedly a rivalry. Those two are the kind of the closest to each other. Um, but we're going to take Nashville. Um, and obviously Nashville all the way through to the MLS Cup. Colorado, the big surprise on the final day of the season. They get the bye. They get the first overall seed in the West. So good for them. Um, they're through. And that really, really helps them getting out of this bottom half. Because realistically, there are three really, really good teams in the West. Colorado, uh, Sporting Kansas City, and Seattle. And Colorado gets away from that side of the bracket completely. And they get to take on the winner of Portland and Minnesota. This is certainly the weakest playoff game, in my opinion. Um, Portland, I think, probably gets out of there just because they are the home team. I don't see any real road for Minnesota. They haven't looked good. Uh, they, they did start the season very slowly, and they've been hot kind of, sort of, lately. Um, but, again, I think Portland is going to come out of that one on top. Colorado um, over Portland in the quarterfinal. Again, uh, since Colorado gets one of these earlier games, they play five days before the New England Revolution do. So it's a long layoff, but it's not nearly as long a layoff as New England does. Um, so we'll pick Colorado to get through Portland. Also, I don't think Portland is as good as Atlanta. Um, in this game, I love Vancouver. Um, Sporting is my third favorite team in the Western Conference. So if Sporting do get through, I think the winner of this game ends up getting into here. Um, but I think Vancouver has what it takes to go on the road to Sporting Kansas City. If it gets to a penalty shootout, Max Kripo is one of the best goalkeepers in MLS. I trust Vancouver to win a shootout. Um, and if it doesn't get to to um, to penalties, then I think Vancouver has a, has a really good shot as well there. Um, just based on the fact that since they have switched their coach, they have been one of the hottest teams in MLS. They have a ton of talent. Um, really, really underrated. Nobody really gets to watch them play. But I've watched four or five of their games, and they are always always, always um, controlling the game and really, really dominating the game. They, they did so against Seattle. I watched their game on Decision Day. Um, they, they really bossed Seattle around. Uh, now, granted, that was at home. But I think Vancouver not only could make a run to here, but they'll give Colorado a really good game and, and have a chance, I think, to make the MLS Cup Final. Um, so I really like Vancouver. In this game, Seattle and RSL, I probably should pick Seattle. Um, but for some reason, I'm just I, I'm feeling RSL getting that really late goal to get into the playoffs. I just can't see them completely wasting the opportunity with Seattle being one of the coldest teams going into the playoffs. Um, it will be in Seattle, always a tough place to play. Hopefully, Seattle would get healthy by this point. Um, it is one of the latest uh, it, early early games, um, you know, first round games. So it gives Seattle a little bit more time to get you know everybody back into the fold. Raul Ruiz Diaz, Nico Ladero, Jordan Morris has been playing a little bit but not starting. If they start all those guys, that's a really good lineup. But I don't know if they gel together on the very first game back. Um, RSL just has a habit of winning games that they should not be winning. Um, so maybe take RSL here just in, in a bit of an upset. Um, Seattle will probably win this game though, if we're being honest. Um, and again, I like whoever comes out of this SKC-Vancouver game to get into the Western Conference Final. Um, so we have Vancouver winning that game. They get all the way to the final and lose to Colorado. Colorado against Nashville for the MLS Cup. 
and obviously we have Colorado win or uh, Nashville winning. So uh, hopefully you can plan your teams a little bit and get a little bit of a head start on maybe if you have to pick up an extra player in order to play for a game week, maybe you get that player now because um, the price is going to continue to climb as we hit off season. Everybody's kind of sold off their teams. Um, so I think we're going to start to see people buying into players, especially now that some of the teams are over. I think we're going to start to see prices rise here very, very quickly. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys just understand a little bit of the MLS Cup uh, schedule uh, so that you can plan your teams. But until the next time, Vamos United.